Hello and welcome to Python for Every. My name is Charles Severance and I'm your instructor and I wrote the uh, textbook. And uh, welcome to my uh, website with uh, all of its extra materials. Um, so what I want to show you is I want to show you the first assignment, the Hello World assignment, and how to complete the Hello World assignment um, online using Python for Everybody using the autograder. So the Hello World assignment is part of the first chapter, the second module in the course. Um, but the way it works is you do not see the assignments or the tracking until you log in. And so I'm going to log in and I'm, we use Google for login. Got to work on a new one. Um, and so I've already logged in before, otherwise it would have me set up a profile. Um, but Google login goes really quick. And so a couple things happen. You see assignments, which are tracking your assignments, discussion, which is a threaded discussion. But if you go back into lessons and go into the lesson that I was in before, you see this additional bit here, the uh, auto grader to, to write hello world. And so this is a graded assignment and you can track your grades. And I've been doing some of these assignments. This is sort of the grade book for the course and I'm not doing very well, but I have finished this hello world. And you can go straight from the grade book to the lesson that contains the assignment. And so now you go to this auto grader. And basically the idea here I'll hit reset code because I've already done this. You can always reset code. So the idea is this is a Python interpreter that actually runs in your browser. It's uh, quite a smart little thing uh, based on a piece of technology called Sculpt, S-K-U-L-P-T. And um, it makes it so that you can do small Python programs. This only kind of lasts for the first 10 chapters of the book because then the Python programs become too complex. I prefer that you don't just use the auto grader, but here we go. So it's got three basic panels. This is the, your code editor. This is your output when you run the code. And this is what is the assignment. And so it's telling you, write a program that uses a print statement to say hello world as shown in desired output. So you're supposed to match this, right? And so this is your sample code. And you can always go back to the sample code by saying reset code. So I'll just pre check, press check code so you can see what's going on. And it says, oh, you got a syntax error, right? The, the errors are a little different than real Python. This is kind of like a, you know, Python uh, light. It's not actually Python. There are other ways that you can run real Python in, interactively uh, on the web. But uh, this is just enough to get us started in beginning things. So this is print Q is not al allowed. And so I just changed this, of course, to a print. And let me make another mistake. Hello, my world. And then I'm going to do a check code. Oh, let me make a different mistake. Let me just make this be a capital hello world and put an exclamation as you see in sort of some of my examples. Now I'm going to run it. This is syntactically correct code. So I'm running it. And so you see now here it says hello world, which means my code ran. I didn't have a bug, but now it's complaining that I have a mismatch. Okay. Please correct your code and rerun, right? Hello world. Hello world. And it's like, I, I did it. But the answer is you didn't because the thing is looking for an exact match. So we have to change it a little bit. And check code and it works. Now, when it says grade updated on server, in this case, I'm running it in the context of www.pythonforeverybody.com. But this you may be running in Coursera or Sakai or Canvas or Moodle or Blackboard or some other learning management system. So the top part here is your learning management system, perhaps. And this auto grader is here. And in that case, it's still sending the grade back to wherever it was launched from. Okay, so this uses a cool technology that, that I've been researching for years called Learning Tools Interoperability that allows this grade to be sent to a wide range of learning management systems. And so you don't have to see all this other stuff and you don't have to be using this from my particular website. You can be using this from any number of websites that use this Python for everybody as their auto grader, but then send the grades back to the uh, particular location that it needs to be. So that's probably more than you needed to know. Um, you can uh, run this a couple times. And if it seems as though, and it's not a bad idea once you're done with this to go back to wherever your grades are going, like assignments in this thing, because this is my Python for everybody grade book to see where they're going. But if you're in your own course, then you should go back to that course to make sure that the grade is flowing back. Okay. So uh, thanks for listening. That's using the auto grader to write a Hello World program for Python for everybody. If you're a teacher, you can actually 
apply to use this autograder in your own class. But that probably should be for another video. So I've talked long enough. Uh, hope you found this useful.